Hey guys, it's Brie. Today's video is on the Femicycle Cup. So I contacted the Femicycle company about, I think it was about three or four months ago and asked them if they would agree to send me a sample cup and they said yes. So I've had it since October I think and I've been trying it out for a couple of cycles. So this is the bag that it comes in. And they actually send you two Femi Cycles, but because this is a sample cup, they only sent me one. The Femi Cycle Cup is one that lasts for one year, however, they have to say that for um, FDA approval, so I think you could probably use it a little longer than that, it's your personal choice. This is what the Femi Cycle Cup looks like. So you can see it's a very unique shape to other cups, and it also has this unique rim. So starting off at the rim, it pops out like this, so that when you have it's been inside you and has collected your menstrual fluid, you can pour it out into the toilet like that. gives you easy way gives you an easy way to clean it, and also pops back in. This feature of the cup is something that allows the cup to be a non-spill menstrual cup. So basically, you can actually tip it upside down when it's got liquid in it, and it won't leak. The other good thing about it is it's quite a high capacity cup. As you can see, it's very wide. It's not particularly long. It's about the length of my uh, index finger, but uh, it has a very easy to grip loop and you can actually get your finger through it, which is interesting because some cups have a loop you can't. Um, it's very squishy though, but it is quite firm when you're wearing it. Now I have a low cervix so I couldn't wear this cup with the ring inside of me, so I had to debate whether I was going to cut it off or not, but because the cup has no grips on the cup itself and is quite wide, I was really worried about whether I would actually be able to grip the cup again um, if I took the ring off, you know, how I was going to get it out of it. Now I've been using menstrual cups for quite a while, so I am quite experienced with getting cups in and out of me, but I was really worried about that, so I didn't actually um, choose to cut it off in the end. This cup is very wide and you can see the only real way to fold this cup is to do the C fold where you squish it together and fold it over. And you can see it is enormous. I did manage to get this inside me but because it is so big it just wasn't comfortable for me. I didn't leave it in um, and I couldn't actually use it on my period because I have quite a painful periods and when you're really cramping you don't feel like shoving something up there. So I didn't actually get a chance to use this on my period, I only use this on a dry run and I just think it's a little big. Um, you don't have to wait for this cup to pop open though, so it has no suction release holes around the top. It's supposed to fit no matter what shape it's in, like that, because of its unique shape it just hugs you. Um, but like I said, it, it just didn't really work for me, this particular cup. It's made of medical grade silicone. and. It, it does look like if you have a high cervix and a heavy flow, then this might be one of the cups you should definitely consider because it's really easy to get out with this ring. I had absolutely no problem getting this cup out at all because even though my cervix is really low, I could still um, grab this very easily and pull the cup out. So I think even if you have a high cervix and this rides up inside you, bearing down with your muscles will allow you to get your finger through this ring very easily and pull the cup out. It didn't hurt me because this is pretty soft, this material here. It's firmer around the rim to allow the cup to open up, but down here it's pretty soft and easy to grab. So that might be a plus for you if you want to get the cup to pull out easily. It definitely didn't hurt my urethra. I did have to do the fold where you press this down and kind of bring the lips around. But uh, I did manage to get it out pretty pain, well not pretty, I did manage to get it out pain free. For the bag, it has a snap which is different, usually they're just drawstring bags. Comes with, it has like a label inside, most of them do, but it looks like this, and it's made out of this mesh material. So it's a super breathable bag, which I really like, because you're not supposed to put your cups in an airtight container. When you buy this cup in real life, you can get it from a couple of pharmacies, I think, in the US, and possibly in Italy, I've heard people say that. I don't know if there's anywhere else in Europe you can get that, but I do know Italy is one of them. Um, but when you buy this cup, they actually give you two. So what you can do is when you're out and about, you can have one cup in, and when you change your cup, you can take this one out and insert a fresh one in. That did seem like a really good idea to me. That might be something you want to consider if you don't like having to clean your cup out in public. I unfortunately don't know the retail price of this, but I do know that you can get it in the US. I don't think there's anywhere in the UK you can get it. Um, I think you have to get it through the Femi Cycles own website. But this cup feels very nice. There's nothing about the cup itself that I don't approve of. The seams are very nicely smooth, so they're not going to chafe or anything, and there's no ridges apart from around here on the cup. So if you're someone who finds you get a lot of um, irritation from grip rings or something, then this is definitely a cup you should consider because it doesn't have any of that. 
If you have bladder issues, however, this might not be the cup for you because as you can see it's going to push against it quite a lot. I wouldn't recommend this cup for a teenager, however, if you have one of the mega heavy flows, then this should definitely be a cup that you look at because it can hold a ton. I don't know the exact capacity of it, but simply because of its shape, I mean, you can... You just imagine how much fluid that holds. They say the average menstrual fluid after 12 hours with this cup is only up to there. So think of all the space you've got. Um, obviously once you go past a certain level, you will leak when you turn it upside down. Once you take it out, you can just simply open up the channel and pour it into the toilet and you're not going to miss. It's not going to spill over anything. And a lot of people worry about that when they're taking their menstrual cup out, whether they're going to blood anywhere. Um, definitely not going to happen with this cup because of its cool little system. Um, I really would have liked to have tried that, but as I said, I was just too crampy, and that's why I've been kind of putting this video off for a while, so I could try it. But each cycle, it just wasn't possible for me to put it in. But I did put it on a dry run, so if you don't get cramps, you have a heavy flow, you really like the idea of a non-spill cup, and you can easily uh, have a high cervix, and love the idea of this really easy to grip and pull out ring, then you should definitely consider this cup. Um, as I said before, I don't think I would recommend it for teenagers, but for women who have... Probably, I don't think you'd have to have given, you won't have to have given birth to a user's cup, but if you have given birth, this might be a good one if you find you need a wider cup. So, thanks for watching guys, please subscribe and I will talk to you later. Bye bye.